What is up guys, Andy Forrester, Dean Runner here. Welcome back to another episode of this training series where I'm trying to break 75 minutes for the half marathon. And you join me here in week four where we're getting things underway. Well, actually this is the long run right now, but we're gonna be winding back the week to show you how the week has been before showing you how it's going to end. Now this week is the first week before we get into the real bigger stuff next week where things start to increase. So this week has been about getting back into it from the holiday. I've had two really great workouts with uh, this week that I'm really excited to share with you. Fitness, I think, coming off the back of the holiday didn't take that much of a knock. I'm feeling in really good shape and I just want to dive into this episode and show you how it's been. So good morning and welcome to this next episode. Kickstarting things this week on Sunday. So just swapping Sunday and Monday around uh, this week. It's bank holiday Monday and I think we've got quite a busy one so I just... Uh, had a chat with the wife and I think it would be best if I just got my easy run done today uh, rather than tomorrow so that we can free tomorrow up. So really on Monday but today should be starting off with a nice 45 50 minute easy run which is exactly what I'm doing testing out the gel Cumulus 25 from ASICS. Um, otherwise nothing too much to mention yesterday was that moderate 60 plus strides which was way harder than it should be but feel a lot better today um, and actually probably quite a good thing that I'm getting out today just to kick start things again so um, yeah just gonna get this one done nothing special today and uh, see you on Tuesday for the double all right good morning here we go it's Tuesday hopefully a good double run today so today first thing now is um, 50 minutes steady and 6 by 20 second strides uh, the usual this changes next week i think i've said this a million times this all changes next week um everything's going up this is the week where i'm building back into it from holiday um so that's this morning and hopefully an easy later on quick little story i was meant to or thinking about entering the cardiff 10k this saturday um but i let the deadline expire because i was umming and ahhing in my head um like how fit I would be. And after Maygore, uh, I kind of thought to myself, the next 10K I want to do, I want to be in shape enough to go and run a low to mid 33 again, to then hopefully try and run 32 on the next one. There's plenty of options. So I let the deadline pass for Cardiff because I, I just couldn't commit. <laughs> and then Cheltenham 10K, same day, entry is still open for that. And I just thought, no, the week off is great uh, mentally and physically, but it does set you back a little bit. And I think I said, it's gonna take me a week or two to get back into it. And this morning, I kind of feel on one hand really fit, like I'm moving really well. On the other hand, uh, I don't feel really fit. I, it's really hard to explain. Pace is quite slow this morning. Um, compared to what it usually is and I know I'm just a bit sluggish carrying a few extra pounds from the holiday and I just need to shift them so kind of glad I didn't book it because I know I'd go there and not run what I wanted to run um, so yeah I just wanted to share that kind of bit of mindset uh, and why I've been dilly-dallying over entering that race so I didn't bother looking for something probably late September early October. So there's a thought for the day. I'm going to crack on with this. Doing a different loop today. I've done the same moderate loop all summer. Going back to one that I was doing a lot last year. So I'm going to enjoy this. Put the strides on the end. Fingers crossed. If all goes to plan. See you later for the easy. All right, here we go. Tuesday evening, 45 minutes easy. Sat in the uh, Triumph 21s, putting some more miles in those. Going to record a little extra uh, thoughts on those the extra channel because I'm really loving them um, but that aside feeling a lot better tonight just bopping along nice and cruisy much better than this morning um, so yeah just gonna enjoy this one it's a bit cooler as well so yeah just flowing a bit better um, and just mindful that tomorrow I'll have a workout so not trying to get too excited tonight keep it nice and calm and let's see how we feel tomorrow morning so yeah get this one done see you for the workout so rolling straight in to wednesday morning's session and it's the one more workout 
that I want to do in these bad boys before stashing them away. Three by 10 minutes. And the reason I want to use these is because I did a long run and I did a workout, but the workout was like a cut down workout to go through the gears and see how they performed at different paces. And they were brilliant. Um, today, three by 10 minutes, nice and controlled cruising pace. Well, not cruising, but you know what I mean. It's going to be a case of seeing how they handle just rolling at a steady pace. So yeah, excited for this one. Can't wait to get into it. And just before we roll into this workout, I want to take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to Say Sky for sponsoring this week's video, previous couple of weeks, and of course, the weeks leading up to my goal half marathon. Eight weeks left and I'm buzzing to have them on board, helping them promote their autumn and winter range. A little bit like, not last week, but the week before, I'm wearing one of their summer singlets today out here on the industrial estate getting this workout done. But I've got a load of autumn winter kit uh, that I will be showcasing throughout the vlogs. One shout out that I want to give these con combat shorts. I'm going to have to remember to leave a link to these. Loads of people ask about marathon shorts, what I wore at Newport. These are the ones in this pocket right here is an iPhone 12 Pro Max, the biggest iPhone that they do. And I don't have to wear a belt when I'm wearing these shorts. They're brilliant. These pockets on the side, when I was running Newport, I had six gels stashed in the one side and the other side, I had a few other bits and bobs absolutely brilliant and if you're looking for a pair of shorts with some good pockets in them plus this has a zip pocket at the back at the top uh, then look no further than these i've had a couple of women message me saying hey they look great do they have any women's options yes they do they say they struggle to get women's shorts with decent pockets well say sky have got you covered so if i move here and point over here don't forget to use discount code fod15 you can check that out and get 15 percent off all uh full price say sky items i just want to mention these shorts because a lot of people ask me about them uh, and they're absolutely fantastic and days like today I said i don't have to wear a phone and um, i don't have to wear a belt to carry my phone with me and i like to carry my phone on every run just for emergency so to be honest with you they're absolutely brilliant if you are looking for some marathon shorts for your upcoming marathon to carry gels and stuff look no further than these combat shorts so just want to say a massive thanks once again to say sky for sponsoring this week's video so you guys know the drill on the industrial estate it starts up and it goes down into a bit of a bowl flattens out and then goes up the other side so this first rep is going to be more favorable uh, but as the reps go on two and three is going to be more up than down so this one hopefully will be a nice way to ease into it and the last two well yeah <laughs> we'll see how that goes but i'm genuinely hoping for sort of 530s if I hit low 540s that's fine um but i really want 530s to feel cruisy and if it does at this stage so like eight weeks out from half marathon then that'd be amazing because i want 530s to be my goal half marathon time target pace really get a get a 74 or a 73 that'd be amazing so yeah that's the goal today let's not waffle anymore let's roll straight into this Five thirty-seven per mile for the first one god i love these shoes <laughs> they're amazing Let's roll into the next one, only 60 seconds float. There we go, 537 again. One more to go. There we go, 535 for the last one. Really happy with that. I wanted 5.30s, we got them. I was a little bit worried about holiday last week and feeling a bit rusty, but last night's run felt really good. Um, kind of, I'm wondering if it only took a couple of runs to bust the rust, because today was pretty darn solid. 5.37, 5.37, 5.35. Cannot complain, really happy with that. That's goal half marathon pace and to do it here on the industrial estate is very pleasing. All right, welcome to Friday. Just walking down to the start of the workout, I'm gonna do my drills and strides on the way. So you might recognize this, this is where I started uh, just up here for the 10 minute reps on the Wednesday session. I'm actually gonna start back down there and up there. So I'm gonna start my rep over there, come down, up here, turn around, back down here, and onto the industrial estate that way. Because today we have 15 minutes, so the first effort is 15, so I wanna tag a bit on at the start, come up here, go back, and then go around the roundabout, come all the way back up here, and hopefully finish around here somewhere, so that I can then have my two minute easy jog recovery, 
and then uh, two by six minutes with 90 seconds in between them uh, which effectively is just over a mile rep and then uh, one three minute interval at the end. So this week's been perfect to test the Elite and the Vaporfly 3. I wanted to do a dedicated video for those two. Uh, Elite on Wednesday, Vaporfly 3 today. Uh, both 30 minutes worth of sort of good um, tempo slash one hour race pace effort. That's what today's all about. Well, that's what I want the 15 minutes to start at and hopefully I can cut down, but we'll see. It's quite cold this morning but it's also really humid I'm sweating loads so uh, we'll see how we go feeling not too bad today recover well from Wednesday session and uh, yeah so we'll just roll straight into this and let's see how we do Right, 537 for that 15 minute interval. Um, really happy with that. Was kind of hoping for that after hitting that sort of pace three times in a row on Wednesday. And we did it. On to the next. <laughs> 526 per mile that first six minute rep. That was a more favorable way. See what we can do on the way back up. Five twenty nine per mile. Buzzing. Really happy with that. Three minutes to go. Five fourteen per mile for that last one for the three minute. That was really good, really happy with that. Felt good, controlled, strong, everything I want to feel <coughs> at this stage. So uh, yeah, I think I can safely say that's two really good workouts ticked off this week. That would be one heck of a view over the forest if it wasn't misty. All right, good morning, here we go, long run time. 90 minutes steady. There's some boar in here somewhere. I've just heard them, so I'm going tentatively past. Um, anyway, I've completely um, decided to go a bit rogue today. Uh, I just feel like I've had such a, a good week so far. Um, it started hard, let's be honest, <laughs> after the holiday, but uh, it's really picked back up very quickly. I feel good. I feel like we busted the rust. So what I've done today is I've UTMB inspired, climbed a few hundred foot hills. <laughs> uh, nothing like UTMB, but uh, I watch that race every year and I'm just like, yeah, that is, the, that is the goal. That is the dream in years to come. I'd love to, to uh, tackle that. But for now, all eyes on speed and the roads and stuff like that. But what I have done today is I, thought I'll go partially around the cycle track and then like after a mile get off it and I'm up now climbing the hills around the autumn half marathon course um, and then I'll drop back down to Mallard's Pike a lake here and then hop back on the cycle track go down the big hill to Cannock Ponds and up the cycle track home I didn't want to do another full loop of the cycle track and tack a bit on I thought I just want to cut loose from the full loop today and just add us something a little bit different, something I haven't done in ages. I looked up the hill, it was very spontaneous. I just went, yep, let's go that way today. So I'm out here enjoying myself in the Clifton Nines, <coughs> getting that done and uh, bopping along at 6.58 per mile pace so far. And we'll see how we get on. So it's been an eventful long run. I am one hour, 17 and a half minutes in. So 12 and a half minutes left. And uh, I'm spent, I'm done. And the last 
half an hour I've been going through all the excuses in my head as to why I could cut this on short. I forgot <laughs> how deconditioned you get from hills. So I'm super grateful in my mind that I went and ran part of the autumn half marathon course. It was amazing. No, I haven't been up there for nearly a year, I don't think. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, but it has absolutely wiped me out massively. Like, I'm so tired. And uh, from 45, 50 minutes onwards, I've just drained of energy to the point now where I'm coming downhill, just over 10 minutes to go. My heart rate has been way higher. Going down right now, it's 148. On the flats and ups, it's been in the 150s, 160s. So in all honesty, this has been much more, much harder than moderate effort. Um, so, and I haven't had a gel or anything just 90 minutes so lesson learned condition yourself to the hills before you decide to go and climb them uh, but we'll get it done just over 10 minutes and uh, we'll wrap it up so what i'll do i'll put the final run stats on screen i'm running 654 per mile pace right now i've dropped from when i was rolling on the hills um, and then i'll put the weekly stats on screen <coughs> i'm gonna go home eat everything and see if I can squeeze in a cheeky nap at some point today. Whew, this has done me in. So, if you enjoyed this week's training guys, give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and I will see you on the next one. Squeeze through this gate. Until then.